All right, guys, so we're going to start using these trigonometric identities that we just got done learning in 1.5. Um, so 1.6 is all about angle of elevation and depression. Um, so it's pretty easy. If it's an angle of elevation, it's when you are looking up at something. So if you were the observer, if you're this little person right here, then you would be looking up to get the angle that is right here. But if you have to look down, then it's an angle of depression. So if you had to look down this way towards the ship. Okay. So here is that in text. You'll find that in your in the textbook. The angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal and the observer's line of sight. So if you have to look up, then you're making an angle of elevation. You're looking up at a tree, you're looking up at the top of a building, um, a telephone pole, um, a mountain, anything that's looking up is an angle of elevation. So an angle of depression is if you were standing on the side of a cliff looking down into like the Grand Canyon. That would be, an, you'd form an angle with from the horizontal, like the horizon, um, when you're looking downward. So let's just jump right into a couple examples here. So it says a ramp, BC, is to be constructed to give wheelchair access to a door of a house 1.35 meters above the ground. Safety regulations require that the angle of the ramp be less than uh, 8 degrees. So let's just think about it. So we have this house. And on this house is a door, and there's a ramp that needs to come down. And we call that BC, so this will be B, point at the house will be C. And so we can make this a triangle if we just connect it with the ground. And this is 1.3, meters. Let's we'll call this A round out our triangle and what the angle that the ground makes with any structure if it's built correctly is 90 degrees so there we have our right triangle and so there's one last thing that we can add in it says it has to be less than eight degrees so the ramp if somebody's taking their little wheelchair and being able to go up the ramp it can only be eight degrees or less. So we could use a number smaller than 8, but they say 8 degrees or less. So if I'm having to build this um, this ramp, I want to know how long BC is, which is what they said that they want. So if I remember, we have our, our three trig identities. So Katoa. So this one needs opposite and hypotenuse. This one's adjacent and hypotenuse. And this one doesn't need hypotenuse, it needs, needs opposite and adjacent. So if we have this angle, and this is the length here, x, I'll put it there. This is the opposite, and this is the hypotenuse. So I need to use sine. Let me just highlight that real quick. So I'm using this one. Okay, so if I take sine of 8 degrees, that's my angle, is equal to opposite, which is 1.35 meters divided by x meters. So if I solve this, then... I will get so before I can solve it I need to rearrange it so I can get it this is just a number you could type that in and get a number in your calculator um, but before you even do that you can kind of rearrange this multiply both sides by X because X is just a number we just don't know what it is so we multiply both sides by it and we get X times sine of 8 is equal to 1.35 and then we would divide everything. Because remember, I'm trying to get x by itself. 
so I can rearrange it. When it's in the denominator, I can't just leave it down there and say, oh, it's by itself. No, it has something above it. It has an upstairs neighbor. So these will cancel, just the same that these canceled up here. And I'm left with x is equal to 1.35 divided by sine of 8 degrees. And when I do that, I get that it is 9. So remember it says, well, we want to do it to three significant figures. Chris mentioned that in one of the classes that they assume we're going to do three significant figures. So to three significant figures, you get 9.70, and don't forget your unit is meters. Okay, you could also do this with tangent because you have the opposite and you could get the adjacent with it to find the other length. So if we use tangent, we would find this length. I'll just call it g, for example. So that's another thing is they, they can get the length of the ramp, but then how far out should they put in, you know, if they needed to anchor it in out here, they could find out how far away it is. So if we use tangent, so tangent of 8 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 1.35 meters divided by g the meters, and we would do the same exact process. So multiply both sides by g, these cancel, and then you divide both sides by tangent of 8 degrees to cancel that, and you get g is equal to 1.35 divided by tangent of 8 degrees which the three significant figures is 9.61 meters. And that's two, three significant figures. This one, two, three significant figures. Okay, so this is finding the ramp, like how long the actual ramp would need to be, and this is how far away. How far away from the house. Okay, let's see one more example. This one's a little bit more complicated. So it says, from his studio window at a point A, which is 6.5 meters above the ground, Tom Chick views the top and the base of a building on the opposite side of the street. The angles of elevation and depression of the top and the base of the building are 55 and 18, respectively. Find the height of the building he is viewing, giving your answer correct to two decimal places so this is the key right here is just 55 and the 18 so they talk about elevation first and then depression so this angle right here is the 55 and this angle here is the 18 okay and this is 90 degrees Okay, so you got to remember a few little uh, things. So we have a couple ideas that we're going to talk about in this one. First thing that you need to understand, which may be obvious to some of you and maybe not to others, is that this distance right here from BD, let me change that color. So this distance right here is the same as this distance right here. So if this is 6.5, that means this is 6.5 there. So using that, the, the one that we really need to get, so we know that part of the building is 6.5 feet. We need to know this other distance right here. I'll color it in green from B up to C. We need to know that distance. So in order to know that distance, then we need to find this because we have one measure. So we, find, we need to find one of these two measures on this triangle that we were given a height on. And the one that connects to this other triangle is the one that we care about. So it's this one that I just put the two blue lines on. Okay, so we find that one. Then we can use that one with the angle 55 to find the green. Like, 
So given this small triangle, let's just pretend the small triangle is the only, the only one that exists. It's some one of these two or one of these three sine, cosine, or tangent of 18 degrees is going to be equal to something. So we have the opposite of 18, and we want the the one right next to um, 18 because this one's the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is never the one next to it, even though it is relatively, but we don't call it that one. So we're going to use tangent of 18 degrees is equal to the opposite, so 6.5 divided by, and we'll just call this, we'll call it by the name of it with the letters, A, B. Okay, it's common practice to do that. So if we solve it the same way that we solved the ones um, on the last example, I'm just going to give you the answer, we get 20, and that's rounding to two decimal places, because that's what they said to do. So we get 20. So now we know that this one's 20 right here, this blue one. So now we can use this 55 and the 20 to find, we'll call this one, this is a CB or BC. Okay, so to find that, we have the angle 55 and we have the adjacent, the one right next to 55, and we want the opposite. So we're going to use tangent again. So the opposite is CB as we've labeled it, and the one we know is 20. So this one's a little easier. When the denominator is an actual number, then we can just multiply both sides by that number and solve it. So 20 times 10, 55 equals our length that we want to know. And when we do that, we get to two decimal places so CB equals 28.56, and that's the two, two decimal places. So then we want to know the height. That's not the answer. We're not done. So the height of the building. The height of the building is that 6.5 that we know is the same. Let's look back at our picture. The 6.5 plus this, let me write it in red, 28.56 plus 28.56 and that gives us 35.06 and our units are meters. So that's the height, we call it big capital H. So these are problems where you're using kind of multiple triangles um, to figure out the, the dimension or the length that you need to know. So with this example and with any of the examples where they give you multiple triangles, you're trying to solve the side that is common, the side that is that they the two triangles share, so that you can use that side in the next triangle. So hopefully this is helpful. See you guys in the Zoom.